Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 10th SAS tutorial and in this video I'm going to go through some colour functions. Wow! Okay then dogs, so SAS provides us with a ton of functions that we can use to make changing things in our CSS or styles much easier. Now, I'm going to go to this website right here. I'm going to leave this link down below. It's a good idea to read through this because there's absolutely tons of functions we can use and there's far too many to go through all of them. You can see there's absolutely loads. And if you click on one of these functions, it's gonna tell you a little bit about it and how we can use it. So this is really cool. What I'm gonna do is just show you a couple of color functions that we can use um, to change the hover effects on some elements on our web page. So the first one that I want to use is called Lighten and it's right here. And you can see it says it takes a color variable and an amount variable. So let's just copy that and what I want to do is head back to this page and right now in the navigation our hover effect for these links is kind of like a grey background. Now this doesn't look great. I don't like this grey colour, it doesn't really go with the blue. So instead what I want to do is somehow create a lighter version of this dark blue so the hover effect will be that as a background. So if we find in our styles the main nav, we find the A which is each one of these and then we have this pseudo class and hover and we've given it that background of gray. So let's change this right here. And instead, we'll paste in that function. So the function is called lighten and it takes these two variables. So we need to pass these through. Now, the color that we want to lighten is this deep blue, okay? So that's gonna be the base color. So we'll paste that in there. And then we just pass in an integer right here. So let's just say, I don't know, five for now. Then we'll save this and refresh. And you can see now it lightens that. Now, if we put something like one in here, you're going to notice that effect much less. It doesn't lighten it much. It's very, very subtle. And the higher we go, if we put 10, it's going to head towards a very light color, like so. Okay. So I'm just going to stick with about six, somewhere in between. Save that. And uh, check this. And that looks quite nice, much better than that gray effect. So that's taking care of all that color for you. You don't need to go out and get another hex value or store another value in your variables. Whatever color you pass through here, it's going to lighten it by this amount. All right. So let's do another example. What other function can we use? All right. Let's use this complement color. So if you've ever used Adobe Cooler or something like that or another kind of um, color theme program, then you'll know what a complement color is. It's just a color which sits nicely with another color. All right. So let's go down to, let's see. We've got some anchor tags right there. That's these things. Currently, the hover effect makes them a color of red. And again, that doesn't really complement the blue. So instead, what I'm going to do is take out that red and I'm going to paste in the complement function. And that takes a color. So the color that we want to complement is this deep blue. So we'll copy that and paste it right there. And what that is going to do is go out and find the complement color for this color right here. So if we save it now, you're going to see this is going to change the hover effect to kind of like a really deep crimsony red, a little bit brown as well. So it kind of matches these things, which is quite cool. All right, so that's two functions that we can use. And like I say, there's absolutely loads of functions that we can use. Opacity functions, uh, other color functions, string functions, absolutely loads. So this is a really good resource for learning about those. Um, I'll leave this link down below and you can go and check those out. So any questions, feel free to ask below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the very next tutorial.